Hey Divines! Here we have a tutorial with Kaleidoscope hair products along with Hair Paint Wax. These are the products that came in my kit. These are all the amazing oils that I absolutely love. Can't forget the edges. We have our leave-in detangler spray. 5-in-1 reconstructor. The conditioner and the shampoo. Let's get this started. As you can see, I'm lathering my scalp, making sure that I get all the dandruff out. And now I'm detangling with the conditioner. I wanna make sure that it goes all the way through. This is my new detangling brush that I'm absolutely in love with. It's by Kara Care. Look at that bounce. So I have fully detangled my hair and I wanted to show you all how that looks from root to tip. Now it's time to put in the 5-in-1 Reconstructor. I have rinsed out the conditioner and I want to show you all how to wring your hair out. And we're going to apply this product. Yes, I need a decent amount because of the density and volume of my hair. I'm going to start at the tips, try to get a lot of coverage, and then I'm going to get some more of the product and apply it closer to my roots. Once the product is applied evenly all over my hair, I'm going to take my detangling brush again and start at the tips and work my way up. And this helps coat all of my strands with the product. This is where I'm going to twist up my hair to prepare it for its heat treatment. So I'm going to sit under a hooded dryer for at least 15 minutes to try to open up my hair shaft and penetrate my hair strands with moisture from the reconstructor. So I'm going to apply the hair cap, secure it behind my ears, and get ready for the steam. Yep, that was my little hairball. This is after the heat treatment. You can already start to see the shine and my curls trying to come together and form. So I rinsed out the reconstructor and this is my hair freshly washed, freshly moisturized, ready to style. This section of my hair, I'm ready to trim it pretty soon. It's the straight hair that doesn't do anything. That's some hair that's overprocessed. I'm gonna use some of my hair drops. These are the Miracle Drops by Kaleidoscope. I'm using these all over my head to help me with hair growth. These are the extra strength drops, so I'm gonna use those around my edges to give me more fuller edges and to apply it in the center of my head where I have the most dandruff or itch. And lastly, I'm gonna take their coconut oil and apply that to my ends to seal the moisture. Now 
now it's time for a good scalp massage. I'm taking the leave-in detangler spray and coating my entire head to get ready to apply the hair paint wax. Are you guys ready to see purple hair? Now that I have brushed through my hair to coat all the strands with the leave-in spray, I'm going to make sure my hair is nice and damp and section it off and get ready to style it. I've heard some reviews from Hair Paint Wax and I've heard that it sticks better when you use it with other products. So I decided to add it with the Pomegranate and Honey My All Organics twisting souffle as well as the custard and that is going to give the hair paint wax some structure and some adhesive to stick to my hair especially since I'm going to achieve this style by doing a twist out oh yes look at this purple as you can tell I am not used to working with hair paint wax so my facial expressions are hilarious This is where I'm going to use my Demon brush to spread the product throughout my hair to make sure that I have an even amount of color on each strand. And then I'm going to take the brush and stick it in my hair to make sure that the product does not get trapped in my brush. This also helps prepare my hair for a nice twist so that the hair is nice and smooth and that my twists do not clump up. So it's important to do the two strand twist all the way to the end and then wrap the ends to make sure that they coil at the end. Look at this progress. So here's where you'll see what my twists look like once they are complete. And now I am on my last one. This is where it's important to make sure that the purple products or hair paint wax, whichever color you pick, is fully covering your roots and your ends. As we wrap up the last twist, I'm going to be taking the extra product from the end of the twist and applying it to my roots all over my head to just make sure that I have full coverage as well as my ends to make sure that those are fully covered with purple as well. Voila! I wanted to take the time to show you all the hand washing process to see that the product washes off very well, very easily. Divines, look at these results. Oh my gosh, I am in love. What color are you going to do next? Subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know in the comments.